Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, Antioch, and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Sunday, October 30th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 1, verses 11 through 19. Brethren, would have you know that the gospel which was preached by me is not man's gospel, for I did not receive it from men, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it, and I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my father. But when he who had set me apart before I was born had and had called me through his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles. I did not confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away into Arabia, and again I returned to Damascus. And then, after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and remained with him for fifteen days. But I saw none other of the apostles except James, the Lord's brother." And today's gospel reading is the gospel is St. Luke, chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. The Lord said there was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. At his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, full of sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes, and he saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me, and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed, in order that those who would pass from here to you may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have, not, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes from them from the to them from the dead, they will repent. And he said to them, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. So this particular parable in the Gospel of Saint Luke is one of the only stories that we have within the scriptures of what the afterlife looks like. St. Luke makes a very clear distinction between the joys of this life and the suffering of the next one, and the suffering of this life and the joys of the next one. And so very clearly he is trying to make a point that if you have wealth, if you are living a sumptuous life on earth, and yet completely neglect the suffering of people around you, as the rich man did in the case of Lazarus. You do so very much at the peril of your eternal soul. The rich man, who doesn't even have a name at this point, is suffering in torment so bad that even a dipping of the hand or a finger in water and putting the drop on someone's tongue would be a mercy considering what they were enduring in this torment of flames. But because there is so great a chasm between one and the other, it is impossible for such a thing to happen. So the torment continues. The rich man begs that Lazarus go and tell his brothers what would happen to them. So for a moment he's speaking out of looking out for another, even though it is still a very self-interested looking out for somebody. But it makes no difference because even there, they do not, they have what is sufficient for them to understand what they need to do in order to be saved. And so because of that, our Lord simply says, they have the law and the prophets. And even if they pay attention to that, 
they would find life in it. But since they do not even find life in that, neither will they find life, neither will they repent if someone should rise from the dead. A dire warning indeed, and one for us to take into good counsel too, that we may live this life paying attention to the needs of others so that we may have life in abundance in the world to come. And may God bless and keep you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.